Hey guys, Blindmanager here, and we're back for the finale of Let's Play and Compare Mega Man and Mega Man Powered Up Old Style. Now right off the bat, we're going to have a difference here in Dr. Wily's final stage, where Powered Up can just jump straight to the ladder, but Classic has to shoot some of these green dudes. For some reason, they don't come from the top and Powered Up, only from the bottom. I don't know why. But once again, Elect Shot will be your best friend, and don't even worry about that energy up there unless your Elect Shot is, like, empty. And I will show you why in a few minutes here. After this pair of... of, uh... Well, after these last turrets here, you come to these ladders, and I suggest just using the Magnet Beam to go across the gap to the little block in the center. And then, waiting for the platform to be coming forward again, use the magnet beam to jump on it after the gap. That gap is pretty deceptive, to tell you the truth. And that little candy looking thing is actually a, uh, it's a f M tank, I think is what it's called now. It restores your life and all of your weapons, except you have to use it immediately, unlike an M take which you could store. I don't know what it's actually called. Anyways, after you get that and the one up and climb up the ladder and go to the teleporter, you'll go into a boss rush. This is the hardest boss rush in the entire series. And I think it's a little bit worse than Power It Up. Anyways, your first opponent is Bomb Man, and your objective against Bomb Man is to take as few hits as possible. Any more than one, and you're probably screwed. You definitely want to use Fireman's weapon to take him out quicker. After Bomb Man comes Fireman, and this is where the challenge comes in. You want to take him out with as few hits as possible. And I can't stress that enough. You gotta be on your A game against Fireman here. Fireman is probably the biggest obstacle in this boss rush. And you definitely want to use the ice shot. I think the boss rush is harder and powered up because of the added invincibility frames that the bosses get. But I would like to point out one of the differences here. In powered up have boss doors, as is typical this game so far. Whereas in Classic, all you have is teleporters that take you straight to the boss rooms, as is typical of Mega Man series in general. I know that's not a technical limitation, so I don't know why they did it that way. But... After Bomb Man, we got Fireman again. And you just gotta be on your A game. There's not much more I can say about it. The less hits you take against Fireman, the better. And I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but if you're playing Classic, you gotta make sure you avoid any leftover projectiles after you defeat the boss. And Iceman went down in Classic before I could even say that Iceman is the next Robot Master. Luckily their weaknesses are still intact, so it will still only take three uses of the Elect Shot. I, again, I think he's harder and powered up because his projectiles move faster and he moves closer to you. After Iceman is the last of the boss rush here, Gutsman, and this is a total crapshoot. Just use your bombs and hope for the best. Generally, I try to get the bombs as close to the center of his body as possible. Because then he's less likely to jump out of the way of it. And I believe it only takes three bombs to take care of Guts Man. So that's good news at least. So Classic has already reached Dr. Wily, so let's give Powered Up a slight chance to catch up. And he's actually right behind. So. We have a energy refill. I suggest filling up the fire weapon, because you'll need it. Trust me. It's actually the weakness of Dr. Wily's first form. So that's what we're going to use. Here we are against Dr. Wily. 
you'll notice some design differences here. The entrance is the same, but he's got a tank and powered up, and he's got like a weird flying thing in Classic. And the first form is already down in Classic. But it's not far behind and powered up. The second form in Classic, he just loses his shielding or whatever and starts shooting these rotating bullets. And the best strategy is to just stand below him and use the shield of the fire shot to damage him. And if you run out of shield, switch to a lek. It seems to do more damage to him in Classic that it doesn't power it up. And power it up, you're using a completely different strategy because you'll still get hit if you stand directly beneath the gun like you do in the classic mode. So, what I do is listen to the sound of the charge shot and jump at the last minute so that the shot goes flying upward. And then just use the shot from the fire shot. It really doesn't matter what you use, except you can't use bombs here. I like to use something besides the plasma shot though because it can be difficult to actually hit him with the plasma shot and it's just gonna take a while I would still recommend using the fire shot first and then switching to the elect shot as a backup after you run out of fire shots that's what you'll see me doing here this boss is actually really easy if you just know what you're doing It's going to be a little while still before Powered Up defeats him. Just because he's not taking two damage at a time like he was in Classic. And I think the reason he was taking that much damage in Classic is because he had less invincibility frames and was getting hit twice by the fire shield each time. But after you defeat him, Wily will bow in. Apology, I guess. Sure, Wily, we know you're not going to do anything else. We'll forgive you. And that does it for Dr. Wily. Now it's time for the ending. The ending itself has a fair amount of differences. In Classic, it starts out as daytime and goes to nighttime. And it's reverse and powered up. Anyways, Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wily. However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. Fight, Mega Man, for everlasting peace. That's such a contradictory statement. Fight for peace. I mean, I, I guess you have to fight to attain peace, but fighting's what ends the peace, so... Yeah. Alright, the next difference I could point out about the ending here is that in Powered Up, you'll get to see basically artwork of all the bosses. All six of the Robot Masters and uh, three Wily Stage bosses. Character designer, Inif King. I believe that is Kaiji Inafun. Because you see that name in the credits for every single Mega Man game. I probably pronounced his name incorrectly. I, I guess it'd probably be Inafune, knowing what I know about Japanese, which isn't much. You got a list of voices there and powered up. Done by the Ocean Group. They do a lot of anime. Anyways, at the end, we reach Dr. Light and Roll and jump up. Yeah, we did it! Anyways, that is the end of Let's Play and Compare Mega Man and Mega Man Powered Up. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I had fun making it. It's been an interesting new kind of Let's Play for me. And I hope you guys will join me for the next one. This is Blamager, and I will see you guys in the next Let's Play.